Uh, have we met? Forgive me, I couldn't help but notice you were staring. You were staring. You tried to hide it, but I'm afraid you're not as skilled in the art of subtlety as you thought. Not that I minded. It was flattering to have caught the gaze of someone as enchanting as you. Liberties, you say? <laughs> I thought dropping the titles would just help us become better acquainted, but if you insist. I am honored to meet the future son of our fair kingdom. Your rule, your royal highness. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive my lack of, um, decorum. My mother always said I did neglect my lessons. But could you really blame me? <laughs> of course I know who you are. Do you really think that masks hides your identity? Sure, it may fool some, but you have a lovely... Face, your majesty. <laughs> One that makes it impossible to hide even in a masked crowd like this. You seem to shine the brightest. Don't worry though, I'll keep your secret safe. <laughs> no need for your thanks, is the least I could do. Though perhaps you could settle for something like me. Are the rumors true? that you once scaled the castle walls to escape a lengthy dance lesson. I've got 20 gold riding on your answer. <laughs> I suppose it is none of my business. Apologies. So. Gotta say, a masked ball is an interesting choice for a coming out party. When do you want to know your dancing partners? <laughs> you will be soon. The luxury is that you have the, the chance to choose your partner. Not everyone is so fortunate. Nice try. Afraid I won't reveal myself that easily, though. You were the one who demanded we wear masks. Just because I'm a better detective than you does not mean I'll let you in. And let you in on who I am. Besides, it's more fun this way. <laughs> Don't you think? Odd is a matter of opinion, Highness. I prefer quirky, or perhaps entertaining. A laugh? No, that was a laugh. Covering right behind your gloved hand does not mask it. It was a laugh. Then I will take that as a good thing. <laughs> If you really wanted to, you could have the guards drag me out of here. Throw me into the moat. But you haven't. So that tells me you are either enjoying our conversation, or that, yes. Though, pompous ass isn't the term I would use. How about charming? Enchanting? <laughs> You have a blistering sense of humor. Whoever does take your hand must be prepared to give as good as he takes. <laughs> and why is that? I'm sure there would be someone noble. And of right lineage. Who isn't a total bore. The Earl of Sinclair, for example, is... Well, yes, but they did end up fishing him out of the lake, so there's that. What about the Duke of Montgomery? I hear he's a fan of sports. Is that so? <laughs> Drink can be a horrible vice. So, who is up to your standards? Hmm, harsh. Surely there must be somebody. <laughs> I'm not angling for anything. Unless you wish me to court you. <laughs> Relax, I'm teasing you. Still, it'd be rude to not ask you to dance. Shall we? <laughs> 
I'm sure that the story was exaggerated. Besides, if you do step on my feet, I promise to not cry out in agony. <laughs> mm. Mm. Can I make a confession? Well, of course, the best confessions are made on the ballroom floor. Lovers whispering honeyed words. Rivals making threats. It's the perfect place. Well, the confession is this. And you stepped on my toes already, by the way. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it was deliberately. <laughs> You are too much to tease. Forgive me, though. You must think of me as some rude elf. No, I was simply going to say that you look stunning. You do. Not because you're the princess, not because of the gown. Though it is lovely. Not your jewels that catch the candlelight. But because the moment I caught in your gaze, I was mesmerized by your eyes. Sparkling brighter than the stars. Oh. No, oh, the song is over. <laughs> Shall I escort you off? <laughs> no, that's not my intention. If I wanted to seduce you, I'd have taken you to the gardens. And stolen some kisses under the light of the full moon. I simply wished for you to know that... <laughs> because I've seen how you look at court. So much duty, birdie, burdening you. And now this? If you can't have that. Not partner from the fairy tales you used to read. You could at least have this moment. Think of it as my wedding gift to you. <laughs> that would spoil the moment, though, I'm afraid. Who I am, how I know you, it doesn't matter. I'm just some charming stranger who whisked you away for one magnificent night. Or I am just an annoying fool who thought he knew what the crown royal needed. You can decide, but I couldn't just watch you walk down that aisle with that expression. <laughs> No name, I'm afraid. I know, it's not fair of me. I know who you are, but trust me, this is for the best. And you'll forgive me. The magic is about to run out, though. Almost midnight. And I have almost stayed far too long. You could, but you won't. Because ordering me to reveal who I am won't change what has happened tonight. Gruel. <laughs> Perhaps, but forgive me. Maybe just one of that fairy tale moment too. All I know is that I was enchanted to meet you, Your Highness. <laughs> Best of wishes, always. Hey guys, super here. Um. If I could do audio, you can guys let me know. Any way you think is fine. Um, if you guys are listening to this, I'm about to fall asleep. I hope you guys are doing great sleep tonight. And as always, have a great day tomorrow. And also, you know I can't forget. Bye-bye. <laughs>